this phrase, especially read from the Hopi prophecy many times, it wasn't until a few weeks ago that it became real while listening to a sermon on YouTube. During what I call the coronavirus pause. Allow me to read a poem by Maggie Smith. You want a door you can be on both sides of at once. You want to be on both sides of here and there, now and then, together and what did we call the life we would wish back? The old life, the before, alone. That any open space may be a threshold, an arch of entering and leaving, crossing a field, wading through nothing but timothy grass. Imagine yourself passing from and into, passing through doorway after doorway after doorway. Yes, I believe we're slowly moving through a threshold of a new normal. From isolating at home to coming back out, wearing a mask and social distancing. This pause has given me the opportunity to go through seven years of photos from RV travels, creating albums in Facebook. I've been living vicariously through these photos, appreciating with much gratitude all the national parks and national monuments visited. It seems like that's the before, the old life. Will I be adding another stamp to my national park passport? I hope so. I've sent out two mailings of cards to friends, old and new, letting them know I'm thinking about them and we're all in this together. I've been a small square in Zoom meetings. I've listened to worship services on YouTube. I've even had a virtual appointment with my doctor. Two of my precious grandchildren called me on Tuesdays, a call I look forward to. Just hearing their voices brightens my day, giving me the love that strengthens me. I've had more time to meditate, connect with the divine, and be open to do some of the inner work needed to forgive not only those who hurt me, but forgive myself as well for hurting others. Life is certainly different these days, these days of uncertainty. I think we're at the threshold of something new, a great awakening, transformation, but there's something that is waiting to be born in us, even as the old ways fall away and die. We can't revive or relive that which has been. We can only open ourselves to usher in the new, that which is, is awaiting our attention and energy. <clears throat> and I quote Reverend Michelle from the UU Church of Amherst, New York. We must not stand at the bank of the river, waiting for the water to pass by, so that we can walk across on dry ground safe from the unfamiliar and untested. That's not how rivers work and not how our lives unfold. I'll leave you with a portion of the Hopi prophecy. There's a river flowing now very fast. It is so great and swift that there are those who will be afraid. They will try to hold on to the shore. They will feel that they are torn apart and will suffer greatly. Know that the river has its destinations. The elders say we must not let go of the shore. Push off into the middle of the river. Keep our eyes open and our heads above water. The time for the long book is over. Gather yourselves. All that we do now, the 
must be done in a sacred manner and in celebration. We are the ones we've been waiting for.